Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tori. Uh, welcome to our family. I'm so, so excited to finally be on this journey. Like I always say, I'm just super excited that I finally have this channel. So as you can see by today's title, we're doing something a little bit different than what we've been doing these past couple weeks. Me and Jeremy are going on a real date night tonight. So I'm super excited. You know, I did my makeup my hair got on this cute yellow romper i'm just really excited so y'all know everything has been closed due to covid and then before that we didn't go on as many date nights with just the two of us because we have journey so journey is always on our date nights with us which is completely fine but sometimes you know you just want just time for just the two of y'all. So I'm super excited that we're finally taking this time to go do something. It will be social distance friendly because COVID is still out here. I know it's still here, but you know, it's just going to be fun to get out, fun to get cute because most days I look crazy. So I'm just excited. I'm really excited. So y'all get to come along with us, you know, and just enjoy this little date night. And if you want to just grab your wine, I'm sure we're going to be drinking, having a good time. It is Sunday, so, you know, not too crazy because, you know, tomorrow's part of the work week. But still, it's still going to be a good time. Hey. We took Journey earlier to go to go, go, Pont go, City go, Market go. and we walked around. It was so hot out there, y'all. It was so hot. But it was good. She's just now waking up for, from a nap and then Careful. we're going to take her over to my mom's house to you know spend some time over there while we get to go spend some time with just us so really quick i know that i've mentioned this before but i y'all know i'm not a makeup artist but let's just get into this little natural this natural beat look these lashes this hair you know the nice riri did it with this lip gloss y'all just feeling it okay it's nothing better than feeling cute before you go out on your date night that's all i can say you know i'm about to pour me a glass of wine i'm not, okay so let me just say this i'm usually the one who's always about to make us run late so jeremy will tell y'all that any day but today we were supposed to have journey at my mom's house at five and it's 4 39 so you know, I got up early to get ready because they were taking naps. Both Journey and Jeremy were taking naps. I got up early to get dressed and everything, and they still laying down like, we got to go. Okay, I've been waiting on this. This is this is my time to go out. So, <laughs> so we just got to the restaurant, and we're about to go inside. I don't know what time they close because everybody has different hours due to COVID, but we're about to go in here. It's really cute on the outside. I don't know if y'all can see this, but... Yeah, it's really, really cute. Really cute. So, we're about Let's to get go out in. the car so we can go ahead and show you something else. Let's Let's get see. out the car. So, here's my drink. It's good. Yeah. Oh, it has Barcelona on the glass. Oh, yours has it. No, mine does too. You just can barely see it. Barcelona. This menu is really confusing though. To be honest, like if you don't know, like most of the stuff on here, I didn't know what it was. Like, what is this? What is that? But I got the potato tortilla. We got a lot of different things just to try it. But Jeremy got something over here and he got to ask the people because. What'd you order? What'd you get? Tell me. A lot of. Barcelona. Look at the price of that though. <laughs> he been balling though, okay? He's taking me out. He can't buy me out, so this is what we're doing. This is what you're spending your money on. That's politically incorrect. Yeah, no, get flued out. Get flued out. That's politically incorrect, but it's okay. Get flued out. Yeah, my child. I did charge you for a fool because, you know. People trying to make money after being closed from COVID. If she didn't ask, that's the sales part. I wouldn't ask either. I'd probably ring you up for a double and you should cross the hill. <laughs> yeah, and you're the only one who can eat it because it has beef in it mm -hmm. and pork. Yeah, but it's all mixed together. What does that mean? It's touching. Girl, you know, like this chicken. This chicken. So I just wanted to talk to y'all for a minute, you know. 
It's amazing all this growth that we have in our relationship. We started out with our dates being to we use ATL because we met when we were in high school. And now look at us out here trying new things. Isn't that right? He's still deep in thought about his order. But I think it's cool to see the growth. Cause that's almost like 10 years ago now. Next year to be 10 years that we've known each other. So it's pretty cool to see how date nights evolve. This is how the plates come out. This is the potato tortilla. And she said it tastes like a quiche. And this is the broccolini. This is my favorite. And then of course some bread. And they brought us out some wine to taste. And I went with, I'm not even gonna lie to tell y'all. Oh, this one right here, the Bardos. It's really good. So if y'all are ever in the city of Atlanta, y'all gotta try Barcelona. Cause the drinks are amazing. I'm lit, I'm feeling it. Having a good time. Yeah, they were fantastic. <laughs> like, yeah, you should definitely <laughs> try them out. In the Atlanta area, come on down. If you're in the car market too, hey, calm down too. Come see Jeremy. He'll sell you a great car. Go ahead, put your little plug in here. Tell him where to come find you. Come down to Thornton Road Hyundai. If you need anything credit-wise, fixing anything, I'm your guy. <laughs> Did you enjoy your date with me? The date was fantastic. Stop talking like that. One of our favorite things to do is ride around and look at these mansions. Because, you know, goals will keep you motivated to where you want to be in life. So it's just really cool to see this because it's like, what do these people do? We're what sitting do? on your ass looking on Instagram and looking at other videos, looking at what everybody else doing in their life. Ain't going to get you fucking nowhere. That's true. I mean, you mm -hmm. have to have a drive and a desire within yourself to get to where you want to be. But it's still the fact that looking at this is still inspirational. So that that's my whole thing. Like to be able to look at something and be inspired rather than jealous is something that people need to learn too. You see it every day when you stroll. But what I'm saying is everybody doesn't interpret that the same way. Like some people look and get jealous and other people look and get inspired. Who, who follows anybody to get jealous? I'm That's saying true. people do it though. So you follow Comment somebody down below if you them? know people. Everybody knows somebody who's looking at stuff and gets jealous rather than looking at stuff and get inspired. Personally, I get inspired because I see so much inspiration in people every day. And so I, I click, love it. So you click the follow button, the the the, 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 the ain't on them. Some people do. Y'all can relate. Y'all know there's people in this world who have no desire. Like they have the desire to get to where people are, but it's more of a jealous thing. It's not like a oh my so gosh, I I'm inspired. You to watch everything. People, you do. people follow no, people to hate. No, I follow you just to say hey. Yeah, I want to be there, but I'm just gonna discredit you, and I'm gonna just keep watching your success. I'm that makes no sense. It's, I know it doesn't make sense, but it happens. It happens all the time. But these mansions, y'all, like, it's it's really crazy. It's it's beautiful. Because I know it's going to happen one day. That's the goal. You know? That's the goal. Buy the whole block. Make sure everybody good. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's what they tell you about wealth in the black community. You buy it up. And that's how you build it up. You build up the black community that way. They got a pool over here. Four car garage. One point two acres. It's beautiful. I bet you all of them bet you. A ninety percent of these people over here don't even be on social media. Probably not. But think about the age group too. They're probably not our age group. Social media and our age group just goes together. Like it does. Most people in our age group have social media. But when you get into your 40s, 50s, a lot of people don't have it. 60s, 70s. Okay. Yeah, you know. And it's crazy to see like how you see a mansion on one side of the street in a lot of places and on the other side, it's just like this regular house. So that just shows how people just come in, find land, because land is a major thing too. If you can just get the land, then you can build what you want to build on it. That's the thing. All right, y'all, it's late and I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. Thanks so much if you made it to the end. I really appreciate y'all's support and I'll be back with more videos. Bye.